Governor Terry McAuliffe signed off on laws that politicians on both sides of the aisle can agree on. The governor, along with supporters of these business-friendly policies, spoke about how Virginia can continue moving forward. NBC 29's Alana Austin joins us now in our Richmond newsroom with that story. Alana? Good evening, Matt. The legislation passed today will mean two things. First, cracking down on patent trolls, and second, stimulating research and development through tax credits. Virginia leaders say that this means the state will move in a new direction and stimulate innovation and growth. Okay, there we go. And with that, Governor Terry McAuliffe gestured in a wave of policies intended to breed productivity while cracking down on scammers. I love it. It gets us moving in the, uh, the next direction, helps us bring businesses in, which is really so important for what we need to do. The two policies gained bipartisan support within Virginia's House and Senate. The first, spearheaded by Attorney General Mark Herring, extends tax credits for research and development. He and the governor say this will spur investment and startup companies. We got to be competitive and what we signed here with the R&D tax credit makes us competitive. The other law works on a darker trend, phony claims of patent infringement. Businesses of all types in Virginia have fallen prey to a hoax called patent trolling. It happens when false claims come in demanding payments and settlements from companies. It would be nice to have some federal legislation to help protect against this kind of abuse and I'm supportive of those efforts. But we can't wait around for that to, to happen. Now the Attorney General's office has gained the power to investigate and crack down on these deceptive and fraudulent practices. And by working on two different issues, lawmakers hope to welcome in a new era. It's taking Virginia where we need to go to make us competitive with business, helping us grow, diversify. And according to the Attorney General's office, $29 billion come out of the U.S. economy every year because of patent trolling. Lawmakers say that from here they hope more action is taken at the federal level. Matt.